So what we've done in this paper is we have developed a new metric, the LRVE, the Levelized Revenue and Value of Energy. Why have we done that? Um, haven't we enough abbreviations uh, around in the energy world? We think uh, that we need this new kind of metric. And that is because we, have, we are starting to operate in a new world, which is much more competitive and value is starting to be much more important um, for wind energy and for other uh, renewable energy technologies in the future. And uh, most of us already operate with LCUE um, uh, metrics, the levelized cost of electricity. Um, these numbers, we think that they are going to be um, harder to come by in the future because of the more competitive environments and um, the, the competitive procurements, auctions, which um, make information less available in, in the public domain. What we do have are procurement prices, uh, contracts that have been uh, 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 done between governments and uh, developers, P PPAs, power purchase agreements, but also um, just uh, support uh, premium contracts. And we are trying to use this information and create a new metric uh, to the levelized value and revenue to understand the, uh, the essence behind uh, the wind farm uh, that way around. And so what we've learned from the application of the new metric to these uh, offshore wind farms across the world is that even in uh, jurisdictions where there is uh, no subsidy uh, currently, net subsidy currently paid out, there is still a considerable um, supporting regime around the wind farm. So it's not only about the um, energy remuneration, energy related remuneration, it's about the full policy package. And we see uh, that uh, these create considerable value and they are also very much needed uh, for offshore wind uh, across the world right now.